Hi, I'm Glenn Jewis, and in this video, I've got a really quick technique using gradients for adding mood and atmosphere into your pictures. Okay, so the last time you'd have seen this picture would have been in episode 91, where I showed you how to add these shadows onto the back wall, which is kind of like a window frame uh, as light's being cast through. And you can see from the original picture, there certainly wasn't there. And then you can see that we've got them now on that back wall. So if you haven't seen the video, definitely go and check out episode 91. In this video, I wanna show you another way that we can enhance the, enhance the mood and atmosphere in our pictures, and that's using color. So what I want you to do then is kind of imagine with me that in this particular, the, uh, picture that you can see here just off the, to the right hand side here, just outside of view there is either a candle a uh, room light a lamp or maybe even a light outside a street light and lights coming in from that into the room so it's warming it up on the right hand side but as it comes further into the room it gets cooler further further across to the left hand side now we're going to do that really quickly just using one adjustment layer and that's a gradient or using one layer rather and that's a gradient so the way we do that is this we go to the layer menu and we're going to choose new fill layer and gradient. Now there's a few little things to click on here. But the first thing we need to do is name it. So we'll just call it light and then click OK. Now when we do that, we get the gradient fill dialog com uh, properties comes up here. And all we're going to do is click on the very, very top bar here, the gradient that we're being given by default. And when we click on that, it opens up the gradient editor. And this is where we can start now to choose the look that we want to actually give this picture. To be honest with you, it doesn't really matter which gradient we choose here because we are going to change it just a little bit anyway. But the best one to probably use for this particular effect is the fifth one along. And if I hover my cursor over it, it'll probably say violet and orange. Never does it when you want it to. There you go, violet and orange. And if I just zoom in for you, you can see it's the fifth one along just here. We're gonna use that one. So I'm just gonna click on that. And when I do, you can see now we get that violet to orange gradient going from top to bottom on top of our picture. Now the violet, I'm sorry, the, the orange I'm kind of liking, that's gonna be nice, uh, a good one to fake the look of the light. But this violet at the bottom doesn't really work. That needs to be cooler. Now the way we can change the color of um, each of these kind of parts of the gradient, in the gradient editor at the bottom here, we've got the, you can actually see the gradient going Going from left to right, we're going to click on the bottom left hand stop here, and that's the one that's defining the color of violet. When I click on that, it's going to bring up the color in the bottom here. If I just zoom in to show you, you can see now it's put the color in there for me. So if I now click on the color, it then brings up the color picker. And this is where I can sort of now choose what I want to change this violet to. And I want it to be a little bit more blue. Now as I drag down here on the strip, which is like the stretched out color wheel here, you can see in real time the color that I'm choosing, not just in the little um, square here, but also on top of our gradient on our picture over on the right hand side. So you can see it in real time there. Now somewhere around about there is looking good. Yep, yeah, kind of like there, maybe just a little bit lighter. There's good. And then we can click OK. We'll then click OK on the gradient editor to close that down because I'm quite happy with the colors we've got now. But then in the gradient fill, the small property dialog box here, what we can do is use this angle disk and we can choose which direction we want that light to be coming in from. Now I said I wanted it to be the street light or a candle or a lamp coming in from the right hand side, going across our room where it's gonna go kind of like a cool blue. So maybe this angle here will kind of work. You can see again, if I zoom in, I've just got to kind of got it so the angle point is going off to the up to the right hand side there, something like that should be good. It doesn't matter to be exact here because you can always come back later on and change this, which is a great thing about it. Now, while you've chosen the gradient angle there, you can also come into the picture, click down and drag left and right to move the gradient to decide how much of the orange you want in there or how much of the blue you want in there. So it's a really nice way of being able to control it. Now we'll leave it somewhere around about there just for now. Click OK to go back to our normal layers panel, but obviously now we want to see our picture. So all we're gonna do is change the blend mode of this new gradient here from normal to maybe overlay would be one to choose from. You could also choose soft light, but that actually seems to make it a little bit more saturated, a little bit more red, which isn't really the kind of color I want to uh, go for. So I'm gonna leave it at overlay, and I kind of like that. Now at 100% opacity at the moment, you might think that's a little bit too strong. So you can obviously dial it down. The great thing about it here being on its own layer, something like that's looking good. So maybe around about the 60%-ish could kind of work. 
but you know you could be happy with it just there but if you wanted to make some changes to it now if you just double click on the gradient in the actual layers panel it'll then bring up the gradient fill you could click on the gradient bar again to bring up the gradient editor and you could click on the colors and all this kind of stuff just here to open up all these boxes again if you wanted to change the colors but while we're in here let's just go to the gradient fill and I'm just going to bring my cursor on top of the pitch now and drag it down so we get a little bit more of that light coming in from the right hand side but you can see how now we've got this warm light coming in it's then fading gradually fading off just like the gradient starts to blend those lights in together and it gets cooler over on the left hand side so it certainly does add quite a bit more atmosphere into the picture especially when it's got those shadows on the back wall just there so it's a really quick technique one that you'll be able to use in a lot of your pictures there just to finesse the final look giving it the mood that you want and um, if you want to use the picture that i'm using uh, so, so you can do it as well just literally just subscribe to my newsletter or my email group that'll then give you access to a page on my website where you can download the files that i use in my youtube video so then you'll be able to get on straight away and start practicing definitely the best way to learn this kind of stuff and also if you haven't already make sure you click on the subscribe button just support the channel by clicking that subscribe button and i know that you're out there also if you could and this is a real polite request here share the video share this video with other people that you know may be interested or better still share the link to the actual channel but that's enough pleading uh, for one week thanks for tuning in i'll see you next time